Hey, we're live. <laughs> I love the the what was what's it called? Um, medley? Yeah, the, I love the medley that is this uh, intro music. Hey, Jared. <laughs> I have to finish my ice block first before I start. But I love this like medley that they have at the start. Where they have all these like. Uh, it's all these, it's, it's all the themes, it's like Crash 1, 2, and 3, all mixed together. A little bit of Crash 3 there. <laughs> ah. Mm. High five, boy. Um, should be able to play. You guys got into the editor for a second. I did do that before starting the stream, so maybe it'll work. Um, it, it, and I believe, I believe I found where the, I believe I, I figured that I, I believe I did that already. Uh oh, have a look. Unless you have to do it every time. Again. Oh god. Um, get my controller. Oh. Oh. My controller was working last, uh, previously. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I believe when I went over here. Oh, I have to do it again. Okay. Because I did this last night. Um, yeah. I did this last night just to check. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Now it's there. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All your ones are right at the top. So, oh, hey, Jeremy. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Yeah, we're playing this um, this uh, remake of it's it's a re fan recreation of the original Crash games. And I'm gonna finish my <laughs> my peppermint magnum. I could give it a try. I could give the level editor a try, yeah. <laughs> nope, no Giano. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just finishing my ice cream. I didn't get a chance to finish it before the stream. That's right. I'm having chocolate and ice cream for breakfast. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes when I'm playing certain things, um, especially games that I've already played, or uh, if I'm, if I'm, if, if in my mind the chat involvement is really important to what's happening on the screen, like reaction streams and stuff like that, I'll have, I'll have the chat on the screen. <laughs> yeah. Mm. When the stream's focus is like a game, is, is, is the game, I'll have just the, the game on the screen. But yeah. So, I think, I thought what we'd do to start with is we'll have a look at these levels the like throwback levels first. We'll look, we'll look at at least one or two of them, and then we'll go and give uh, Jones uh, creator levels uh, play, and then I might try. Yeah, I might try it by myself. Um. <laughs> Ice cream for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I will try to do that. Okay, third level. Yeah. <laughs> Good way to live. Yeah. Okay, memory lane. Mm, it loaded too quickly. <laughs> but this, this is wild. Um, oh, I'm gonna have to leave this. I'll leave my ice cream until I finish the level. This is, yeah, this is entirely made by a fan of, of Crash Panicoot. Oh, I suck. I got the life though. <laughs> That's cool. This. Ah, <laughs> the hitbox. It's so specific. I've been playing um, Crash 4 recently. <laughs> been playing Crash 4 recently, and um, in that you have permanent, you have double jump. Ah, shit. Wait. Oh, do they have? Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, it is. There is like a higher jump. 
when you're on boxes. Apparently, yeah, they, they aimed for Crash 2's, uh, sort of move set. So it should feel mostly like Crash 2. Um, it has been a, I should have played Crash 2 to just, like, give myself an idea of how it feels. But, um, just to remind myself, you know. But, um, I mean, it feels pretty good. It feels pretty faithful, the control scheme. <laughs> Oh, see you, Jeremy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I shall have my fun. <laughs> they remade this and everything, and they've they've incorporated the Crash Four like flashback tape thing, which didn't exist in the original. <laughs> That's fascinating. Um. I really want to make the warp room in Minecraft, so I shall try my best. Okay, yeah. <laughs> as soon as you, as soon as you showed me that, um, like, what is essentially like the the planning zone thing with all the crystals uh, in your base, I was like, oh, you've got to make a warp room. You're gonna make like a Crash Two style warp room or something, or any of the Crash warp rooms, really. The Crash 3 one might just be hard because you need, like, a, a huge open zone. <laughs> Unless you build your warp zone out of your house, like, outside somewhere. But no, I, I would say make, make it like Crash 2, make it enclosed with, um, the warp doors and everything. Oh, God. I'm <laughs> the hitboxes are throwing me a little... I'm sure it's just the difference between the old crash and the new crash. Again, I've been. Again, I've been playing uh, Crash 4. Oh, that's very nice. They leave. They keep it so the lives. The lives are still there, even when you already collect them. <laughs> that's not how it used to work. Yeah, normally when you collect a life, uh, when you, when you re, you know, if you redo that part of the level after you die, uh, the life is turned into just bumper fruit. So you can't just keep getting your life back. What is this? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Eh... Uh... Oh, hey, Funtime Foxy. <laughs> you clicked an invitation to an Uka Uka trial. Huh, from the basement by standing in the middle of the room, warp room. Uh, yeah, what are these? Explain yourself, Uka. <laughs> no? Okay. I'll, I'll have a look at that later. <laughs> So like, so, 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 so I was planning to use one of the new crates. Ah, there's new crates. <laughs> um, okay, let's give the Snow Way back a try. Mm. Sorry, I don't, I don't, I try not to eat while <laughs> streaming usually. But ice cream. Yeah, that's cool. This is this is very different. Like I mean, the the previous level wasn't technically a level before as well, either. Ah, <laughs> no! I, I, I gotta restart. I gotta restart the level. Okay, a warp room. <laughs> I gotta get the flashback tape. <laughs> I'm going to assume the flashback tape works the same way as it does in Crash 4. Where if you die, <laughs> you can't pick it up. I gotta do my I gotta do skid uh, skids on the ice. <laughs> it makes it way easier to move. Oh, 
Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, oh the, the perspective here is real strange. Oh, <laughs> the camera position and perspective there was real weird. This is very cool. Ah! <laughs> oh, I feel like off the world, like off the level like that. <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay. Uh. <laughs> What's this game? This is a fan. Shit. Uh, we'll just see. Oh my god, this, there's literally no checkpoint that whole whole way. Um. This is a fan recreation of Crash One, Two, and Three. Like. More specifically, Crash 2, but, um, yeah. It's a fan recreation of the classic Crash games. So, like, they've, they've made it, like, feel, made, they've made this game, like, look and feel just like Crash 2. And, um, oh my god. Ugh! Oh my god. And, uh, which is very impressive, like, it's very, very technically impressive, because it, feel, it feels very authentically like Classic Crash. I am playing this with a controller, it has to be said. I don't know what the, the PC controls are like. No, it's not a mod, it's a... It's like a full recreation. Oh no. I pressed jump! I pressed it! You, you would have seen it there for a second. Yeah, you mean like the. <laughs> it didn't actually jump. God fucking damn it. Yeah, that's, that's why it's so impressive. It's like it's a full recreation of the. Of the of the game, or of the, of the style of the game. But yeah, while these levels aren't technically actually recreations, like, the, these levels aren't the levels from Crash 2, for instance. Um, stylistically speaking, they've recreated it so well. Visually and, and um, functionally recreated it really well. I'm getting better, I think. I'm making it further in each time. To be fair... Oh god. Sometimes when I jump, he just doesn't jump. I don't even know how that happens. I had to look back at the stream. Fuck it out! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I was gonna say, um... Uh, what the hell was I gonna say? Um, I, in my, in the, in my spare time, in some of my spare time, I've been getting friggin' perfect run relics in Crash 4. That's what I've been up to. <laughs> so, like... Why is it so hard? <laughs> Joan can attest to the fact that perfect run relics are are pretty BS. <laughs> pretty hard in, in Crash 4. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't got I haven't got like that many, but oh. I hope there wasn't anything up there, up the top of that platform. Okay, before I get that checkpoint. Oh. 
I do find it mildly upsetting that I can't um, move the camera. But that's probably authentic to original Crash. Okay, first checkpoint. It's probably going to be the only checkpoint in the level, I think. Other than maybe the bonus stage. Alright, there's the end of the level. You can see it ahead. <laughs> humorous. Okay. Oh. Oh, hey, Lin hey, Linux. Oh. What? <laughs> oh, it, it counted me as finishing it? Wait. Wait, what about these other boxes? It's, oh, because they're, they're post checkpoint. <laughs> what the fuck? That, that number better be plus bonus level. <laughs> the bonus level platform killed me. Like, I was, I didn't even move in the, on the platform, I was just sitting perfectly still. Okay, it must have, it must have counted them. Okay, good. Ugh. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Uh, well. Maybe I'll re I'll come back to these levels. Let's give let's give uh, Jones levels a try. So now we're jumping into the portion of the stream. Oh, uh, the portion of the stream where we're gonna play Jones levels. Joan made these levels just like basically just so that I would play this. <laughs> Funtime fun, Foxy, you play Portal Two. Nice. You have no idea what this is. Um, I have explained it a few times, but I shall explain it one more time. It is um, is a fan recreation of what is a, essentially like an authentic style Crash 2 game. Hmm. Infinite one-up trick. Um... As in, uh, dying on the, <laughs> dying on the, the friggin' return platform from the bonus level. <laughs> it's such nonsense. There are, this is, I should mention, I should reiterate, this is a, um, a prototype of a fan recreation of... Crash Bandicoot 2, Crash Bandicoot, classic Crash. Now, these, yeah, again, these are some levels. These flip levels here, they're user tapes. They're made by our friend Joan, <laughs> who's in the chat. And um, these four levels are all are all fa uh, are all um, Joan made. And uh, you say the first two, first two levels are easy. The other two are, however, maybe a bit tougher. Right. Um, you've never actually seen a Crash game? Oh, <laughs> they're a very comfy rock. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Crash is just one of those games I played as much. It was just my childhood. It's nothing. nothing major. I play, I still play Crash Bandicoot to this day. I still re replay it to this day. Um, it is Minus Worlds from Super Mario World 2. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so, let's go back to the roots. So yeah, this is made with the, um, the level editor that you can get, um, in, in that the, the, that the, the, uh, creator of this project has made, so you can, like, make levels and share them with friends and stuff like that, which is super cool. Um, I will just mention immediately that for anyone, oh, for anyone wondering, the, the... 
the, the level editor only allows you to do side-on levels. You can't do levels where it goes into the screen like, like I was just playing. Um, maybe that'll get added in the uh! future. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> that may get added at some point in the future. I, I, like, maybe. But uh, I have a feeling it'll probably be relatively limited, uh, map editor. Just because, for technical reasons, you know. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna skip that platform entirely. Oh, I always hate hitting checkpoints before TNT explodes. Um. Oh my god. What the? Why is it floor slippery? <laughs> <laughs> I did I super did not read that as slippery floor. No oh god. <laughs> oh, I love the music too. The throwback music. It, it just makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's that. That's that. I guess. <laughs> oh, I get it. No, there was a life there. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I, I, I'm sad that I can't get that life. Oh, okay. <laughs> In this version, you can. In this game, you can. Lives don't get blown away. <laughs> Explosions are always nice, except sometimes. <laughs> I, was, I was pretty sure that I had that good. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why does that keep happening? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> My woe sounds way too, like, weirdly real. Whoa! <laughs> I like how in the in the user created levels, the the warp thingy is the is the uh, crash one warp. Oh, I wasn't expecting that behavior. <laughs> that behavior was unexpected. Okay. Now nah, did I get everything? I did! Yay! <laughs> Did I get a crystal? I don't remember getting a crystal. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the bird the whole bird's front is like a hitbox for um for death. <laughs> um No, Nitro Nitro is like TNT except it explodes immediately. So as soon as you touch it you die. Um <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I like the sad woe. Drizzle Heights. Mm. Yes, yeah, this the rainy level. Oh dear. Ah no! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't... I didn't see myself picking up the crystal. Oh shit! <laughs> I keep getting the same... I keep dying in the same way. I'm gonna have to keep my eye out for the crystal. 
There we go. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Ooh, there's multiple directions. Which way do I go first? I guess I go this way, because I can't go that way. Oh, okay. Um. The plant hitbox is way worse. I am. Oh. I have. I've always just avoided. Like, I've always just spun at quite a distance. Or quite a, on top of them. Um. <laughs> you read the game a solid. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> There's multiple Cortex Islands in the background, yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, this is cool. I like the, like, the backtracking. Like, you could, you could entirely skip this section if you really wanted to. <laughs> that was actually quite tough to get that to, to land. It's such a short, <laughs> short distance that I <laughs> struggled to get the belly flop to land. Wait, there wasn't, there wasn't a, um... Nah, nah, okay. Ooh, this music. I like this music. Ah, oh, I did that, it did that shit jump again. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> it's like, is he gonna attack me or not? <laughs> you jump, it triggers the bird. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. Hmm. Ah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I've had, I've had no trouble with the, the plants so far, thankfully. Mm. Oh, okay. I had trouble with the bird, uh, with the plant. <laughs> oh, the the pet is so intimidating. Ah! <laughs> yeah, now nah, I'm having troubles with the plant now. <laughs> I've been so privileged before. I'm not having troubles with the plant. No woe upon death makes me sad, yeah. Whoa! Uh, that was of am the close to the... <laughs> close of the one, what? <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> I, I held X like, a, like an idiot. Tight jump. <laughs> Avoid that. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't notice the first level that I collected a crystal. <laughs> Light your fire. Oh! oh. <gasps> it's actually something I'm, I'm interested in. I'm interested, interested to see. It's like, in some areas of Crash, they actually make it uh, like a kill box. Even if, like, if you were to fall a certain distance, like a, um, instead of allowing you to survive the fall, 
they like may just kill you. <laughs> Um, nice. <laughs> yeah, certainly no kill box in the other. Yeah, I, I didn't think there would be. So uh, that's why I was like, it's interesting to see that happen. Because, uh, yeah. Alright, <laughs> now, to the slightly harder levels. Uh, native scale. Hmm. Ah, uh, yep. Oh, I, is this the one you were saying you felt like the platforms like, uh, disguise in the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, I see what you mean. It's, it seems okay to me, but I get it, I get why you were concerned. <laughs> oh, I love, just hearing the, like, old Crash 1 music. Ugh. Hearing the old Crash 1 music makes me so happy. I was gonna say, how the hell do I get this? <laughs> oh, I didn't see the platform in the middle. Okay, see, <laughs> okay, there's proof that it can be, it can be a little bit, uh, misleading or distra- not misleading or distracting, but like, I can miss things. It did not even see that there was a there was a platform there. <laughs> um, stuff looks a bit hard to see. Here. Yeah, it's, it's just a it's weird shadowing on the on the platforms. I think that's the issue. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, shit. The frequency with which it crash does the like shit jump. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Just wondering if I should remove the background for this level. Ah, oh, yeah. Nah, nah, I like the background. I would have kept the background if I were you. <laughs> Damn, I could have had the super mask by now. Oh my god. Ah, fuck. <laughs> no! Ah! <laughs> Damn it! Yeah, see, I wondered about this. TNT that didn't go off before the checkpoint. Oh shit. God dang it. <laughs> God dang it. No, oh, I was hoping I could get on top of the boxes. <laughs> um, just from my preliminary, pre preliminary look at the uh, level editor, I would describe it as being kind of reminiscent. Oh. Uh, two, three, four. I would say it's like reminiscent of the Mario Maker uh, system, the Mario Maker level maker thingy. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I fucked. Yeah, <laughs> I saw it and I was like, shit, oh, <laughs> that's weird. Shit, jump for problem, a problem, and a lot of platforms. Yeah. 
but it's like it's just every now and then I press the jump button and he like he just like doesn't jump properly. He like does this like weird shitty jump. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> um. Remember, you gotta do most of this level without breaking boxes for the other gym. Yes, yes. Oh god, this level. <laughs> I just realized it was this level. Is the no box? Ow. Oh. God damn this TNT. Oh my god. The amount of times that, like, the skid doesn't uh, keep my height. Oh, see, he did a shit jump just there. Skidding often doesn't keep my height when I skid off of certain platforms. Very upsetting. Oh my god, I tried to I tried to skid as soon as I landed that time and it didn't do it. That previous time where I was on the like uh the belly flop platform in that other level, like the second I hit the surface. Because I had pressed circle to try and um Oh shit. I'd press circle to try and do a belly flop. It like it was like, no, you're skidding. <laughs> Based in Let the log sounds sync up most of the spears. Rise. Oh, I didn't realize that. Um. I guess I, I think I just assumed that the sound. Oh, yeah. I just assumed the spears were making that sound, but. Yes. Oh fuck. God damn it, I keep getting so far with the mask and then just fucking it up. See see what I mean when I say shit jump? It just goes <laughs> <laughs> and it falls down. Oh. We're streaming until so late in my time zone. I need to go. Need to go soon. Um. <laughs> other than remove real life from my real life. Yeah. That's the thing. Is like, I for me, it's eight thirty a.m. <laughs> this is about as early as I can possibly stream. Oh my god, he shit jumped again. <laughs> Two, three, four. Oh, okay. Right, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh. You rub up the side of the box as you bounce. Right, yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, good point. <laughs> I'm getting lives though. <laughs> That's what he said. Where is this exclamation mark box? Oh. There it is. Oh my god. So much stuff backwards. <laughs> Did everyone else see that? Oh 
Oh my god. Look at it. Oh, I know it probably will. It'll probably explode when I hit the nitro box at the end of the level, but just in case. Oh. Ugh. Okay. What the? Oh, okay. Belly flopping into the abyss. <laughs> it's not advisable. Okay, let's blow these up before before hitting the checkpoint. Oh my god, I did not see that either. once again. Yeah, it's that, it's that green moss from the first game is what that is. Yeah, yeah, nitro boxes explode as soon as you touch them. So nitro boxes, you don't even want to don't even want to hit the side of them because they'll blow up. They're very volatile. <laughs> they'll explode immediately. You'll be able to see it. You'll be able to see it on the way, so you can't miss it. So I made the nut break box gym not at the end. Ah. Okay. Yeah, I wonder how- I, oh! I am curious how you made the no rock, no break bar gym. Yep, saw that coming. <laughs> it's- So, it would seem in this, in this, it doesn't, he did the shit jump again, god damn it! No, that, no. And yeah, he doesn't seem to slow down when you are like running into a box. If you're sliding and you run into a box, he doesn't seem to slow down. That is so far with this uh, this fan remake. My number one critique is the shit jump. <laughs> it's when he just like vibrates on the spot and doesn't jump properly. Okay. Well, Jesus Christ. I tried to do that, and it, <laughs> it just was like, no, on the floor. <laughs> that was a, that was another different, a different issue yet again. That time it was, um, I landed on the, the fire thingy. <laughs> I just didn't bounce. <laughs> so I just instead of blah, uh, bouncing and continuing, I just fell to my death. <laughs> okay, wait, no. There we go. Oh, <laughs> it would have been funny if I had spun the crystal. <laughs> Nitro boxes are very rude. Yeah. I did not ask for your explosion. <laughs> At least TNT warns you. Yeah. Well, I got the box gem. You said I was gonna see it? Oh my god. <laughs> god damn it! Oh, I, I you, that's what you meant. I thought you meant that I'd be able to see it, see where it's gonna be, or where, where it would be if I did it right. I thought that's what you meant. I 
keep doing that shit? <laughs> it's because I've, I've been playing Crash 4 and... Um... In that game, you can't move super well. Once you've once you've stopped yourself from moving midair, you can't like go back to moving in midair. I don't know if that's how it is in Crash uh, Two or not. I have to go back and check. But what I what I'm essentially trying to do is I'm trying to prepare for when I'm when I hit. As soon as I hit the bouncy thing, I'm expecting it to. Um, I'm expecting to move at maximum horizontal speed. But, uh, yeah, I keep fucking that up. Hell yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. Jeezums. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Uh, alright. I'm gonna hit continue just so we get the. We get to see it. Uh. Right, oh, do, I, do I actually get to see it collected? Oh, it doesn't actually show it. Okay, now, the same level again, but no boxes. No, oh, it means I have to go through the whole level. <laughs> without, you know, without dying. See, that's something that I've, I've noticed. That's something I've noticed. Uh, with this, with this recreation so far, I, ha I, I will say I have noticed um, there's this weird tendency for they haven't quite got the like stepping. I don't even know what happened then. Oh no, I know what it happened. It's this fucking controller. It happens in Crash Four as well, where like when I sometimes when I just like let go of a button, um. It or like I press Control X, sorry, Circle X to do it to do a crouch jump. Sometimes when I do it quickly, it thinks that I've pressed Circle again in midair, and it does a belly flop like immediately after jumping, and uh, it's killed me so many times. But no, what I was gonna say is that what I've what I've noticed is um, uh, if you step off a box, that's considered just like a step. And so Crash immediately jumps to the lower platform. When really, when you're falling off a box, you want to be able to, um, you want it to have a bit of fall. I shouldn't hold X. Uh, I'll see if I can show it. Oh my god, fucking shit jump! Okay. Oh. Damn it. Whoa. Yeah, this level doesn't have a whole lot of examples I can show it off with, but um I could probably actually I could probably do this. Wait. So when you're going off of this box. Okay, he fell that time. But no, you see how he, he quite often like it quickly clips to the lower floor. He's not doing it on this one, but there the, there are many instances where he sort of like clips from a box onto the lower floor, like it just like jumps to it. Um, yeah. What that means is that you'll get such situations where there's like a, a death floor, and he'll clip straight to it as soon as you walk off of it. When I played with the controller, I got the shit jump, but only when I was using the control stick. Oh. You didn't get it with D-pad. The shit jump. Okay. I'll try using the D-pad instead. It pains me not to get the checkpoint, but, um... Okay, when he's far away. 
Oh god, yeah, it's this part. Oh, okay. I can land on that because it's just a Fuck! <laughs> Shit! No, I did so well! I was doing so well? Yeah, actually, using the D-pad, I'm not getting any ship jumps. Oh. So I was actually pretty close to the box, to the no-box gym. Damn. <laughs> Shit. into focus mode and stopped talking. <laughs> yeah, no, I've I've not had a single shit jump the whole time. Uh so oddly it's like a hidden gem too. Oh. Um yeah, I've not I don't know if it's just at, if it's just in my head, but I have not had a shit jump the whole time I've been using the D-pad. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, shit! Wasn't it there I died last time? Fucking hell. Deeply upsetting. And this game, this game isn't gonna be nice and give me a mask for failing over and over again, is it? <laughs> I bet they haven't put that in. <laughs> nope, <laughs> I didn't think so. That was one of those features that I'm like, I just bet that. Oh, I keep. Uh, oh, oh, okay. That was weird. I was gonna say, um, the way I've been jumping at this, yeah, that's better. Whatever way I was jumping at it the last couple of times, um, I kept needing to stop. I kept needing to let go of the right stick, uh, right movement. I see it. <laughs> I see it. Yeah, it's a co it's a color gem. It is legit the blue gem. <laughs> so yeah, I could now get a checkpoint and get through the rest of the level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh! <laughs> I like it. 
I like your implementation of the of the blue gym. <laughs> Shit! Oh, your time has come. Okay, see you, Linux. Have a good rest of your night. Oh. <laughs> also, hey, Zach. Welcome, welcome. And uh, no, the game hasn't. The game hasn't crashed yet. I've crashed. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> I'm dying. Oh god, I literally died in game. Um, I feel the need to keep getting this. this oh, I hate it when that happens. I don't need a don't need a light, light. Yeah, shockingly using the D-pad is has uh stop the shit jump from happening. Like why is the shit jump attached to the the direct the um joystick? I would never have guessed that the joystick is why I got I was getting the shit jump. Fascinating. Anyway, um that life crate is acting like it how it does in to insanity, such nonsense. Right. Yes. I hated that. I hate I hate it when it drops the when it just drops the life symbol. Uh so frustrating. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, we got the blue gem. Alright, oh, I find it weird that you can't interact with this, with the, with the controller. You have to use the mouse to get these. All right, Castle Exterior, last of Jones levels, last one of Jones levels. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I went back to using the joystick, and immediately it fucked me with a shit jump. Uh okay. It's amazing how instantaneous the shit jump returned when I re returned to. Oh. Um. Like I said earlier, this last level was my favorite to make. Enjoy the music too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I miss boxes. Can't be having that. I see there are 200 boxes. <laughs> I see that. Going to hazard a guess. Oopsies. Oh god. Yep. I didn't get away fast enough. I'm going to hazard a guess that a lot of them are nitro and TNT. Oh. <laughs> the music. <laughs> Classic. Cortex theme. The theme elements, I should say. Okay, nice. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, this is awkward. Wow, oh, okay, well, whatever. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> How could you? How could you, Joe? How could you do that kind of evil? <laughs> oh, life! Stop doing that! <laughs> I can't quite get it! Fuck. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. Okay. <laughs> I 
I did press jump, but sure. <laughs> Just don't jump. Oh my god. I do find it interesting seeing the these like um, metal crates falling. Do metal crates ever fall in the original games? I feel like they don't. Ah, oh, I lost my... How am I gonna get this now? Last time I relied on... Yeah, I was gonna say. Last time I relied on using the mask to get that nitro out of the way. Right, yeah. <laughs> we'll say that the nitro would have blown up. Blown it up at the end anyway. True, true. But I wanted to get my life. <laughs> yeah, I'm I sometimes I I um like get myself killed trying to do stuff that doesn't matter. Yeah, let's just do that and <laughs> let it explode at the end. Ah, oh, what the heck? I was holding X! How did I not make that jump? Oh my... I, I risked it and failed. But again, I'm amazed at the fact that simply switching to using the D-pad instead of uh, the analog stick it's now, yeah, none of my, none of my jumps are doing the shit jump thing. That's so weird. Ah. Okay. I was afraid of that. <laughs> shit! God damn you not putting checkpoint <laughs> after the sequence. Oh, 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 he didn't attack. That was weird. He didn't attack. Oh, hey. <laughs> Ever heard of Cow the Kangaroo? Yes, I have heard of that. Um, uh, I've never played it. But I remember seeing it on, I remember, firstly, I remember seeing it around back in the day on like PS2 era. <laughs> but then, uh, I never, yeah, I never played it. Oh, I see. I, I didn't see this platform last time. Yeah, those spikes make no noise at all. Um, but, uh, oh, there we go. There's the checkpoint. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I knew. I was like, I'm gonna lose that mask immediately. Oh, these crumble, don't they? Oh, okay, well, they disappear. Okay, did not mean to do that. <laughs> I like just the random nitro up in the top there. That's cool. Okay, yep. Oh my god. Uh huh. Oh, once again, I did not see the platform. <laughs> Damn life, just. Oh, of course. 
Oh, uh, what the? <laughs> you, you, you fucking kidding me? That's damn right. <laughs> you fucking kid Oh, nice. Okay, I'm assuming there's a platform. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. This is gonna be tricky. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I pressed circle, but I like didn't register. This is gonna be tricky. Oh. Okay. Hopefully that was late enough. With that. This is cool. Now that I'm past the first part, this is really cool level, by the way. <laughs> I mean, the start part was cool as well, but <laughs> I was getting frustrated with the start. Ah. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I see. Oh, thank god. <laughs> okay, I got them. I barely fixed that in time. Because my childhood consists of freeware and sometimes bootleg games. I have, I've played Calvin the Penguin. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. No, I remember, I remember, um, again, I remember seeing stuff to do with Cal the, the, uh, the kangaroo. But, um,. I guess we just had other games. We just never got that one for some reason. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was gonna go below the nitro at the bottom, so I was like, I don't wanna go on it before it gets there. Oh. Oh, I still got it. Nice. God damn it. Wait, wait. <laughs> nice. I think I, I have 119, so there was like, uh, at least 80 <laughs> Nitro. Nice. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. So that was the, that was all the levels. <laughs> that was all the, well, that was all Jones levels. There are other levels in here. Adventure test. So this is this, these are the ones made by the developer. These are the ones that are like ex like example maps. I'm assuming made by the developer themselves. Oh, this one was really short. <laughs> This is a secret gem? What? What's the secret gem? Uh, no, it's okay. Um, I, I, I like getting suggestions. Um, I just, I just need you to know that I'm probably, I'm only going to be able to play a, a small subset of the things that you suggest, that's all. As long as that doesn't upset you, then that's fine. Is it no box gem? Oh, that's the only kind of secret gem. Oh, okay. So yeah, if I go through this. Can you not just put a gem in your level in a hard to reach place? As your like, secret gem? Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> I'm curious now. Wait, wait, let's go to the creator. So yeah, the, for anyone curious, this is what the creator looks like. It's very, um, it's very, uh, uh, oh, okay, I see. Oh, 
Oh, see, so yeah, this one's like a... This box, this one requires all boxes. This one requires no boxes. So if I put like some boxes here, um, then give it a play. Yeah, yeah, so like, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean, yeah. That sucks. Um, Yeah, that, that's really upsetting. <laughs> I like how it makes a box break. Um. Yeah, yeah, you made it like almost like a. Well, it looked visually like a secret gem. Um. Ah, right. It, it looks very much like Mario Maker, is what I meant to say. Um. Oh, right, yeah. No, it's like, again, like, when it comes to game suggestions, I like, I like people saying, like, what they want to see, and what they, you know, what, some games that they'd like to see me play. But, um, again, I need people to know that I can, I can only play a certain number of games, you know? So, um... Ooh. And so, like, quite likely I'm not going to be able to play the games you suggest. I can play some of them, but most likely not. Cave. Oh, they have the lab. Oh, this is the factory one you were talking about, wasn't it, Joan? The, the factory background. You said there were some new boxes. Oh. Ah. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. I'm just gonna put some of these things down. Um. These are for the the relics. This is um for whatever that that um uka uka challenge thing is. And these are the selections of enemies and, and hazards. Yeah. <laughs> what if you have no gem, no boxes? Oopsies. What if you have no boxes in the level? Okay, it just works like that. Right, so this is uh, that new mechanic. Ah. Interesting. Um, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. If 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 when you're suggesting games, it's just it's more of like a. I just want to. I just want to see if you're aware of them. I want to see if you'd be interested in playing them. Um, that's that's totally fine. Yeah, go ahead. You can suggest all the games you want to suggest. Um, it's it's just that in the past I've had people who, after suggesting games to play, they've gotten upset because I haven't played them. And that's where I'm like, that's where I have to draw the line. I'm like, look, I can't, just can't play everything. <laughs> um, yeah, otherwise, yeah, go go right ahead. Uh, I'm curious as to how this works. So... Um, let's uh, do that. Now, let's... Ah. Oh, that's the sequence in which it'll open. Ah, <laughs> oh, neat. It's so simple. Except I can't reach it. <laughs> oh, what the hell spin on the keyboard? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's neat. And then wait, if I go back into here, yeah, the gem's not there initially. <laughs> That's neat. That's really neat. Um, he was gonna use the uh, 
that for the lab section. Yeah, yeah, that, like, on-off box. Um... That level was gonna be like the castle machinery level, where you see the exit at the start, but you can't reach it. Right! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to, like, move away from it before you can get to it. Um... This is the world's topic of 3D platformers, this one. Fairly little game called Sammy's Circuit. Huh. I've never heard of it before. I was gonna say, uh, in terms of like puzzle platformers, one of my favorite of the of old was um uh there was a there was a game called Suicide Salary Man. Uh that I used to love. It's an old Flash game. Uh, let's just, uh, leave. But yeah, interesting. Uh, do I make a level? Or do I just go back to playing the rest of these, the, the main levels? Um, I think we'll, we'll play the rest of the main levels first. Streamlining. And, um, well, um, oh my god, the music. I'll go back to the main levels, but then I might get my hand at actually trying to make a level with the creator tools. But yeah, it's very Mario- oh god. It's very Mario Maker in style, the like, the creator uh, tools. Change the music by the- oh, that's where the music was, yeah. <laughs> This is like a, like a, this is a really strange remixed version of the, of the, um, upstream music. It's a real, like, high-paced. I always like the, I, I mean, I've lo I love all the crash music, but this... This music in particular, I always found fascinating. Okay, don't kill me. <laughs> don't kill me on the ride over. There's a buggy where if you... Um... Oh, interesting. See, so if you have a mask, doing the mask music, uh, and then you die, you'll return to the default editor music. Huh. It's interesting that you can see the rest of the level. <laughs> okay, don't kill me. No! <laughs> don't kill me! Ugh. God damn it! Now part of me wants to make a puzzle platform. Wants to make a crash style platformer. <laughs> we have to click boxes. No, finish the games you're working on first, Rory. <laughs> idea for browsing playing flash games both of your own choice as well as request one yeah I mean yeah um, at some point if I if I get myself a handful of games of flash games that I really love or loved back in the day I could make that stream happen and um, and uh, then yeah hopefully people can give me some good suggestions Oh shit. That was masterful. <laughs> oh, I missed a box somewhere, did I? Wait, no, I got... 
81 out of 80? <laughs> At first I was like, oh I missed a box, I got 80 out of 81, but then I realized, no I got 81 out of 80. Oh, there's a secret gem in there? Uh, if it's a secret gem, the only gem it can be is a no box gem. I hit him with the spin. <laughs> this music uh, feels like recreate the song from memory. Yeah, yeah. It's like it. It's it's got all the same like notes, but they're all in the wrong order. They're all in um like an order that's unfamiliar. Oh my god, that's gonna be so rough getting up those stairs. Oh. So when it comes out, some of the levels I've made here, I can recreate there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm very curious about the insane editor. Curious as to how, how, um, how like the insane trilogy it'll be. That's one of the most upsetting forms of dying like that. It, it's... It's the fact that I didn't even get to chew, like, get a, tr a chance to try and jump the gap. It just. <laughs> gearing up to jump the gap, I died. So it didn't even count, like, didn't even really count as, like, an attempt. <laughs> guy who made the editor made a video I think you'd be interested in. Right. <laughs> Crash you whenever every crate was nitro. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. I'll have to. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that's, a, that's rude. That's a rude one. Ah! Oh, <laughs> I got one at the very end! It was the very end of the level! <laughs> I can see the door! It was right there! Uh, we'll have to watch that video as part of the stream. Um, it's funny because uh, I was thinking to myself, I, I kind of want to... Um, I kind of want to do a short. That's related to the stream. I want to put a short out on YouTube that's, um... That's like, oh, why did I do that? I want to do a... It's a long video, though. We'll, 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 we'll look at the clip notes. Uh, we'll just skim through the video. Um, I was gonna say... The, uh... What the hell was I gonna say? Uh... Yeah, I want to do a short that's like about all some interest, fun and interesting stuff happening in the crash, the crash overse. <laughs> it's not what they call it. In the crash Bandicoot Sphere fan games and stuff like that that's happening in Crash. Oh my god, I pressed X. Piece of shit.
I can't actually see. Like 35 minutes. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Oh my fucking god! I <laughs> I just just walking next to the boxes. What do you mean that's me falling into the water? Maximus Flashpoint is the single largest software for uh, storing flash games and making uh, them available to play for some. Ah! I've, I've not heard of this before. Blue Maximus Flashpoint. Right, right. I was gonna say, I know a lot of, a lot of like, Newgrounds, they set up their own system. Ah, fuck. I did that again. I like how fast the levels load. It has to be said. The levels load like lightning fast in this iteration. Look like a regular gym. What? Excusez-moi. Was that not the gym that I was? Was that not the secret gym? Why did I get a gym at the end without any boxes if it? wasn't a no box gym. Maybe that's bugged. Maybe it's it's not working properly. Silver lining. But wait, no, there was... Wait, 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 wait. As much as it annoys me to go back into this level. What about the... the... I just suddenly remembered that I... While I was in the... While I was in the, um, side room, when I was in the bonus level, I could see, um, oh fuck. When I was in the side level, oh, I'm using the deeper as a... I was using the analog stick again and immediately I was getting a shit jump. <laughs> shit. Maybe, uh... Oh. <laughs> immediately lost it. I only remembered. Yeah, when I was in the bonus level before, I could see up ahead. There's a one of those challenge things. It's off to the side of the platform. On new rounds, ruffle is used. I'm just gonna get to the end of this. I don't actually care for all the boxes. Right. I um I was gonna say when they when uh Flash first like 
went out of like went out of production. Um, Newgrounds had their own Flash player. You're back. Welcome back. I managed to get through the level. If, yeah, if you didn't see it. I managed to get through the level. There it is. It's this. Yeah, yeah. I got through the level without getting any boxes, and the gem, like, appeared but wasn't there. It was, like, there, but it wasn't there at the same time. And it didn't do anything. It didn't give me anything. It was that that I was missing. Yeah, it was it was the it was the challenge thingy. It wasn't um it wasn't actually a gem that I was missing. Even though it shows a gem on the wall, it's actually the um the the uh, challenge thingy from uh, the Uka Uka challenge. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like the music. Yeah, it's all very much like recreate the recreate this Crash Bandicoot music from memory. <laughs> <laughs> and so it like has the same like feeling as the original music, but it's not the original music. Um yeah. What is this? Right. Okay. That was weird. I'm gonna get this and then this. That way I can get that every time. Okay. As soon as I did that jump, I was like, I'm not gonna make that, am I? See, that's why I did that. That's why I didn't get the mask until then. <laughs> Pro strats. Um, I spoke to OMG and he said that, uh, when I make that Crash mod, he'll be, he'd be interested in making music for it. Ah! He wanted to try Acapella because he saw me play Twin Sandy before and recently tag team, so yeah. Right, right, yeah, yeah. But still, downloading Flashpoint is now the best option for Flash content. Right, right. Uh, as it has uh, the most of it stored from all of them. Right, right. Interesting. I haven't really thought too much about Flash since... Oh! <laughs> that moment when he... Oh, yes. <laughs> I find it interesting that, uh, it's, like, I like to believe I'm pretty good at, Oh, see, I didn't get to here before, I didn't get here without dying, so I can't get the flashback, uh, tape. I like to believe I'm pretty good at, uh, <laughs> that kind of thing. I find it funny that it's, uh, it's, um, friendly fire, <laughs> let's say, friendly fire. Acapella and Crash 2 game would be interesting to be fair. Yes! That sounds like a hilarious combination. I love the idea. Especially Acapella sung by me. <laughs> That'd be, I mean, I'd be, I'd be fascinated to hear it, RNG. That's a hilarity. 
<laughs> oh, I, I need to hear that now. I need to hear it. Uh, it this has to happen. Oh god. This has to happen. I need to hear RNG a cappella. <laughs> oh, those jumps are tight. Yay! We got it. We got everything except the tape. Because I kind of forgot that the tape existed. Shit. <laughs> Let's go back. Yeah, the tape acts like the crystal in this, except it also acts like a tape, in that it you, you can't die. Well, I did that the wrong way around that time. Not that it really matters. Nice. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> oh, you have an acapella thing you made for a reaction stream, but you never released it. Now I'm really curious. Oh, the game doesn't... That's something that, that this doesn't do. It doesn't tell you, um... This game doesn't tell you what you've collected in the level. It, when you press triangle, it shows you the Wumpa Fruit boxes and, um, lives. But it doesn't show, like, crystal or tape or whatever at the bottom of the screen. They haven't added that yet. Do we make an actual music based off of using Christian music? Or? I would definitely want to see the original Crash done a cappella. But you, I would say you could do a mixture of both. Uh, depending on what you want to do with the with the levels. Like any of the original Crash a cappella. Could be interesting. True, we could have a yeah, yeah, like yeah, and and of course you could always always do as as RNG pointed out there, like new music but with the same notes, like like with this, like this music that's playing currently. It's like it's all the same library, it's all the same like notes, but in a different in a different structure. It's like thematically the same, but not literally the same. Anyway, Castlemania, last level. Yeah, arrangement, that's what I'm thinking of. I don't know them, I know some musical terms, but I don't know all the musical terms, so like, I often just use <laughs> like normal uh, speech to try and get across my idea. Yeah, I just know. I just know what I was taught, and I was not. I did not pay much attention in music theory class. <laughs> it so happens that I do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. need to reset because we've got a tape to collect yeah because the lightning fast reload like loading into the levels <sighs> I don't mind having to go back to the warp room every time
Wait, what? <laughs> uh, wait, Cortex thing above? Uh, most known from all the games I have suggested before. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I've definitely, I've, I've added that, uh, knight, or whatever you pronounce it, to my list. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll see how long it takes me to get to it, or, you know, how, you know. I will, I will try and play it, uh, in, in due time. Um, oh, you might try and finish it, re uh, and release it for the next reaction stream. Ooh. New music and reuse things. Um... Cortex thing above. I, I. Oh. <laughs> to make you voice Cortex. <laughs> you want me to voice Cortex? Uh, <laughs> damn it. Uh, so like, have me going. Crash, crash, crash. Why do you always have to muck in my mud? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the. <laughs> I think it was a bit of practice, but I used to be really good at the crash, at the, at the Cortex Lob. <laughs> oh, dear. I used to be amazing at the Cortex Lob. I'm a little rusty now these days. Sorry for it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. If if a cutscene system is implemented in that in that uh, insanity editor. Oh God. I'm so constantly at risk of falling to my death on that. I know that I can't jump across here, can I? There's like no way I can make it across there. Oh, I got shivers. That was the gap there. Oh, I started using the the, the control stick again. Ah, I see, I see. I was like, what am I hitting towards? That way, yeah, I think so. Um, playing orange is acapella music with your Cortex voice would be killed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I haven't died yet. Um, there was a thing backwards, wasn't there? Yeah. That was it, though, I think. Okay, before I break these boxes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Is 
This feels like the lab levels of Crash 1. Like these doors and then those like floors opening like that. Feels like an attempt to sort of recreate that sort of uh, feel, if you will. Two out of seventy-two. Yay! <laughs> Hell yeah! I got everything. I got the tape. I got the yeah. Hell yeah! Got all the things. Um, I suppose now I'm gonna check out what the hell are these? What are these Aku Aku challenges? Uh, Uka Uka challenges. Sorry. I don't have any idea what these are. Some sort of time trial thing. Oh! Dude, there's some sort of like weird double jump thing going on with Uka Uka. Ah! It's a weird double jump. It's a really strange double jump. Ah, fuck. Ah. It felt a bit odd, yeah. Ah, that the the way you lose momentum when you when you double jump, it's that really throws me. Oh shit. I missed the three, but that's alright. Yeah, that sucks. I hate that. <laughs> I hate the way that jump, the double jump works. Ah oh, shit. I tried. <laughs> I tried to do something different that time. It was right there, the end was right there. I panicked, clearly. I like the, the like... What I can only say is like, the shitty, I love the shitty, um... Uka Uka at the top of the screen. <laughs> the like, low poly... Really sad looking Uka Uka at the top of the screen. Ah, fuck. Yeah, I think, uh... A bunch of work needs to be put into this to make this fun. Ah, fucking hell. That's so hard to get. On top of also getting the other, the lower box. <laughs> I don't know why this even uses lives either. This feels like a time trial-y kind of thing that shouldn't use lives. That's better. I hate, I hate the momentum with that. Yeah, this is the worst. <laughs> this is actually bad. I like what they were going with. I like how they were, what they were going for with this. Like, I don't mind the, the time trial-y nature of it at all. But... Ugh. Hey, I got gold! <laughs> Holy shit! That's cool. Damn. <laughs> I was curious what happened if you had Aku Aku and Uka Uka, but as soon as you get Uka Uka, Aku Aku just dips. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna do all these. I'm probably not gonna bother doing all these. Oh, 
Okay, no, no, that was my controller doing that. Oh. I see. Entropy music. I've forgotten what entropy music sounds like. The entropy music. Ah, uh, four and a half seconds. I didn't even get silver, I got bronze. Oh well. <laughs> well, there are five of those as well, but uh, I cannot be bothered doing those. It's definitely one of those elements of like, if, it, if that kind of thing existed in the original Crash Bandicoot, it would be the kind of stuff that I wouldn't bother to do. <laughs> like, I'm glad that I didn't add relics to these levels, because relics are already beyond what I could be bothered doing uh, with this kind of thing. Now, what are these flashback tapes? Are they actually old levels, or what are these? Or do they work the same way as the flashback tapes in Crash 4, where you've got to, like, just a crazy box sequence, you know, that you got to get all at once? Testing your box breaking abilities. Happy messages and spoken caveman to me. <laughs> yeah, uh, Uka Uka and Aku Aku. Um, that, that stuff. That. Knowing to call them that uh, came later. To, uh, for me as well. Like, um. I think I used to always call. I feel like I used to always do it the wrong way around. Yeah, yeah, I did the same thing, Joan. I, I called them... I called, um... The Good Mask, Uka Uka. And then, uh, Aku Aku... I think I used... I might have even used that, at, like, at, from time to time for the, the bad one. The bad mask. I'm just getting something out of the car. Um... Something like that. I definitely had it, like, wrong. Yeah, he, I mean, he does say something that sounds a lot like Uka Uka. <laughs> and to be fair, Uka Uka didn't come into the game until later, until Crash 3. But I played Crash 3 first, so... Uh, I should have, I should have known. I should have been able to figure out. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, this is such a awkward. Such an awkward uh, <laughs> just sequence of movements. Ah, shit. <laughs> I switched from um the joystick to directional buttons and immediately fell to my death. I like to pride myself on my ability to do these kinds of levels. So this is upsetting that it's not working! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, that wasn't my fault that time. The character, like, didn't bounce on the box. Just fell right through. Oh, it's something to do with spinning when you're right at the end of your spin. Okay, oh. Alright, I'll see you later. Have a good day. Yeah. Mark's off to work. Okay, I've seen this a few times before in my... In my, uh... Ah! Oh! <laughs> Crash Panicking Korean. <laughs> Shit! Wait a second, wait a second. Just gonna make sure... Make, make sure the mark didn't just fall over. It's happened before. No, it's fine. He's fine. He's fine. <laughs> he didn't fall over. I heard something coming from outside just shortly after he walked out, so I was like, I should make sure <laughs> that nothing bad happened. Because there was one one previous time where he, he uh, went out to work, and as soon as he stepped outside, he slipped on the steps that are just out the front of our place, and freaking hurt his leg. <laughs> Bye, Mark. <laughs> also, do you want me to send you send that video? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Send it to me on Discord. I think I still have it open in the background. So yeah. <laughs> Mark, come back. I do feel bad because when I when I stream like this, he has to catch the ba the bus to get to work. Uh. Whereas, normally I would just drive, if I was available, I would just drive him to work. But, uh, oh well. The bus isn't too bad. Thankfully, the, the way the buses work in this, in this scenario. So, yeah, I got all the boxes. It doesn't, um, doesn't, uh... Uh, take too long to it doesn't take much all that much longer to get there by a bus hell yeah oh god damn it you sent it okay cool thank you I much prefer to break it with my head where possible Oh shit. Oh god. Oh, oh, oh god. <laughs> that was a tremendous failure. You know what? I'm gonna go backwards here. Despite the Indices limit limits, that castle level I'm really proud of. Yeah, no, it's it's really good. It's really well made. Do you have any past with uh, module music or trackers? No, no. Module music. Oh, okay, they were all close enough. God dang it. <laughs> so long. No checkpoints. Um, I was gonna say, that's something that the the flashback tapes in 4 
had checkpoints. <laughs> if you're gonna make the, these super long, it would be nice to have checkpoints. The flashback tapes in Crash Bandicoot 3, oh sorry, Crash Bandicoot 4, actually, like, not bad. Like, they get really fucking hard, <laughs> and sometimes they kind of rely on you using, like, these, like, exploited sort of maneuvers. Um, but honestly, that's some of my favorite stuff in Crash 4 was the flashback tapes. And the flashback tapes, the flashback tapes in this are interesting too, I like these. Oh god. <laughs> 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 it's like a, I was stuck. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I like all the cortex and embryo and engine lines uh, throughout. <laughs> these are basically these levels in this version, the, the flashback tapes for this, are essentially just like the um they're the embryo or cortex levels from the first game. Except they're not, got, they're not full of nitro. <laughs> That's the only difference. Or full of TNT, I should say. Hey, there's a checkpoint in this one. Probably because this part's gonna be really hard, isn't it? <laughs> I saw that coming. One thing I found odd was the uh, past Cortex lo uh, looking like the Ford des for design, but the, in the monitor it looked like the Crash One Cortex. Yeah. Well, what's what's interesting I will say is that um, I find it I find it very strange. Um, What I found really strange is the fact that even in Crash 4, when you're when you see there's that scene where uh, you're playing as when you play as Cortex in the like second to last level, um, or the level before the boss, um, there's a scene where new modern Cortex bumps into old Cortex, and they look the same. Like the 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 future Cortex and the past Cortex look look the same in that scene, but then. At the end of the game, when it like goes back to like the original cutscene that played out in the first Cortex, uh, first game, Cortex, old Cortex, suddenly looks like he did in the in the Insane Trilogy. It's like, did he have his like head crushed? <laughs> like, did his head get like crushed into <laughs> something in between scenes? How did he get looking like that? Ah oh, shit. <laughs> you hear those crates break in your sleep. Yeah, don't worry. I um I uh Oh fuck. Um I've been playing some Minecraft off camera, off stream, just to three, four, five. Oh fuck. I didn't hit X fast enough. Um, I was playing, I was doing some Minecraft stuff off camera that involved beads. And I suddenly, I literally, I literally had dreams last night about bee farms. <laughs> bee farms in my dreams. Man, bees are so frustrating. In Minecraft. Oh shit! 
<laughs> yeah, they need to behave. <laughs> Get you some more. Five. Three, four, five. Shit! No! <laughs> God damn it! Ah! <laughs> ah, shit. No. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> shit. <laughs> How are you supposed to... Oh, you need to... That's what you need to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I didn't have that last bit in my head correctly. There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Run to nowhere, yes. Fest in it away, yes. <laughs> I should have an ES in it. Yeah. It's all the same names as the original levels, but just with ES at the end. Better the bees than maniac crates, menacingly moving towards an er erratic fashion, towards you in erratic fashion. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds familiar. That sounds like a reference. I can't think of what it is right now. Yay! I did it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> There's one more, isn't there? Yeah, one more flashback tape. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Ah, oh. <laughs> it's such a tease. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank God. Two, three, four, five. I just like, I just belly flopped and hoped that it was gonna be the way I thought it would be. That was definitely easier than the previous one. <laughs> it should definitely go earlier in the list. That was cool though, I liked it, but it was definitely easier. Alright. Yeah, that's it, that's all the flashback tapes. We've done all the flashback tapes and all the main levels of this of this thing. Um, I do not care for the, the Uka Uka challenges. We should try and make a level. We should try and make at least one level. Uh, right, I should drop the controller and pick this up. Okay. What level do I want to make? What kind of level? I like this backdrop. I'm gonna change the sky though. Okay. Now, what kind of- Oh, you can zoom out. Oh, nice. What kind of space do I want to make? Yeah, I didn't know- I didn't know that until I just figured it out. <laughs> I just figured it out myself. Okay, um... My hair makeup looks different. <laughs> yeah. Um... I kinda wish you could add water... ...down below. ba doom ba doom boom ba doom ba doom Boom 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 bo
I also don't know what jump distances are what. <laughs> make the hardest crash level ever made. Well, if I was gonna do that, then I'd have to make it just like endless boxes. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh god. Okay. Oh god. This <laughs> is making it a really, really frustrating level. Okay. Uh there's your gem and your end of level. <laughs> you know what? Um, oh, these platforms just work as they, they're not bonus levels, are they? Um, <laughs> you can miss it. Uh, I don't even know if you can get up there, honestly. Um, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be merciful. <laughs> uh, they're the moving ones? Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Let's get rid of that. What, actually, what I'll do, what don't you do instead, uh, in that case. Um. <laughs> <laughs> cool, Jake's music. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, 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 that music. Ah, oh, Entropy is the... That's what I would think of as the lab music. Um. Okay. Oh, this is the this is the Crash One Lab. Whereas I was thinking of Crash Two Lab when I said uh, Entropy's one. Embryo. Oh yeah, 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 yep. Yeah. Cortex, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Type. Uh, I mean, it'll set it to adventure. Little name Pain. <laughs> Created by Rorius. Okay. Uh, I will hit save. And, um, I mean, let's test it. <laughs> this is gonna be so frustrating. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> holy shit! Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> it actually works like way better than I thought it would. If you just hold X and forwards. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> it did the shit jump. <laughs> oh, making sure the middle box is gonna fall. I'll see if it's different if I hold the D pad instead. <laughs> there we go. And then. Oh no! <laughs> you need to do a crouch jump for that one. <laughs> this fucking noise. <laughs> oh, I don't have a metal crate 
I, I don't have the fuck. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Only problem with if probably problem with making the metal boxes fall is that um it will mean that you can get on top of the the reason I put the metal crates there is so that they you can't get on top of the boxes and because that'll make it way too easy. Um, okay, wait, I'll just get the end. Uh, I forgot to make a metal. I forgot to make the nitro exploder thing. Um, uh, nitro exploder. <laughs> there we go. Um, uh, hmm. I could try it. Can you select multiple? You have to select one at a time. <laughs> Unless I do this. Okay, wait, wait. Um. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'd have to do it one by one like this. It'll break the nitro crates. crates? Yeah, yeah, no, I can't. I mustn't do that. Yeah, and then I'll just, um... Okay. Um... The only other thing I can think of is... I, I wonder if it'll be harder, if it'll actually be harder if I... Um... Make it one block higher. Um... Okay. Part of me is like, I want to put a blue. I <laughs> I want to put a blue gem in there, but I'd have to have made the start at a different location. I would have like a back path that has blue the blue gem. Um. Okay. One second. Let's let's give this a try. Now that it's one block higher, I think it'll actually be harder. With multiple bounce ones? Oh no. Oh, if these were all multiple bounce ones, that would be nightmarish. Yeah, see, it's harder now. You can't just hold right. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Ooh, 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 this is way more pain. Ah, see, I missed one. Oh, this is this is immediately better. <laughs> oh, this is really tough. <laughs> this is actually pain. <laughs> this is actually pain. Ah, shit. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> no! Nah. So you can make it across okay. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Making it across is totally fine. It's it's the it's the getting all the boxes that's really tough. Just wanna see if I can make it to the end. Oh, I can't get up to the I can't get up to the crystal anymore. Shit, okay, wait, 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 um... Uh, okay. We need to, um... Put it, I'll put it there, like that. <laughs> See what the Cyber Cortex music is like? Cyber Cortex? Uh, 
Um, okay. Um... The only way I can make it like a, a, a way I can make it significantly easier would be if I, instead of having metal crates up the top here, if I just had nitro instead. That way, when you hit the nitro at the end, it'll blow up all the crates that you missed. But I kind of want it to be pain. <laughs> I kind of want it to be really frustrating. You can only have two, you can have two gems in the level, but one of them has to be uh, all boxes and one has to be no boxes. So there's only two available gems. There's the get all the boxes gem and there's also the get no boxes gem. Just put the crystal under the nitro and have a slow platform that takes you there. <laughs> I mean, that's a possibility. Yeah, if you miss one, you're, you're screwed. Ah, oh, I'm so close. I had such a pattern going there. I can get like halfway. I need to prove that it's doable. Even if it's frustrating. Oh. <laughs> this is actually such a rude crystal as well. Oh no! <laughs> you can't just bounce off of it and expect to be able to get back. You have to you have to crouch jump. Okay. It's easier to not hold X. That's something that I've found. <laughs> there we go. Okay. You've got to hit it and then crouch jump back. <laughs> Yay! It's doable and it's pain. It is genuine pain. Okay. I should definitely switch it to a flashback. But can flashbacks have gems and crystals? I don't know. Whatever the case. There we go. <laughs> it's my first level. <laughs> um put a nitro in the air, buff the green. Make it a grey box. <laughs> While the, these sound like brilliant pain ways to make this more painful, I actually like how I like. I currently like how painful it is. If I make it any more painful, it'll be too frustrating. I think this is pain without being like I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> pain. <laughs> so I, I think that's good. I think this is just the right level of pain. If I'm gonna do stuff like that, I'll do it on another level. <coughs> oh wait, um, I'll just save it again, just in case. Uh, I do think that the, the default, the, this, this Cortex, is the one I like. There we go. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> okay, um, try that again. Why does it do that? It's like not letting me... Yeah. <laughs> it is saving. Oh, okay. It just takes ages. Weird. The raw possible level and the raw improbable level. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the stream, Rocky. Um... 
Anyway, okay, new level, new level, okay. Oh. It's completely blank by default. Um. Okay, okay. Let's switch the music. Wait, wait. Uh. Let's go. Let's find, like, the. What's an adventure? Okay. Alright, now. Oh, this, this is making me think about the fact that you could make, like, an, an adventure level where it's like. Wait, I'll make you stop higher. How high can you go? Okay, okay. You can make a level where you start, like... Um... And the end is, like, right there. Um... But... <laughs> yeah, there's, like, you know, if you want to get the stuff in the level... Yeah, I'll put it elsewhere. I'll put it elsewhere. I'll figure out a good place to put it. You've got to like go around the level, getting stuff, and then come back to the start. Uh, your previous message. One of my favorite aspects of dreams is when your brain creates an original form of content. Yes. Um. Yes. I had that just the other night where I um. I had a dream that involved some YouTubers that I watch. <laughs> they were in the dream with me. But the, the premise of the dream was... Um, oh, wait a second, I gotta put the music down a bit. It's a bit loud. Um, the premise of the dream was this crazy, like... It, I mean, it started out as like a school thing. Like, I was in some kind of school. But it turned into like... Uh, this crazy cyber... like, cybernetic future where... Uh, people had all, all sorts of augmentation stuff, and there was this really neat, there was this really strange but neat um, series of augmentations that you would like put between your eyes. You'd put like here, this like little gem slash like chip thing, and it would cause uh, you to get like su superpowers or something, and uh, through using these augmentations, it, it was like a little chip. It would just, like, attach to between your eyes, and it would, like, uh... <laughs> you'd become, like, super-powered in some way. Actually, I'll make it like this. Um, it was cool. It was a cool dream. <laughs> uh, okay, now what... What structure do I want? Uh, what kind of space do I want? Let's just start with a nice flat platform. Start with a nice flat platform on both directions. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we'll figure out more space around it. Um, definitely one of them I want to have. Uh, I want to go up into the sky. How do these boxes work? Maybe I'll make like a. Actually, this will be this will be r rude. Um... Uh, okay. And. I'm assuming you do this to choose how... How do I... Why can't I choose that box? Is the nitro over the top of it? 
Oh, yeah, that's why. Oh, can you not control how high the box is? Like, how high the box, the bounce box makes you jump. No, you can't choose that? How did you get around it? <laughs> I could, I would have sworn, I was like, oh, that'll be something you can modify, because that's like, classic bounce box. How high does it make you bounce by default? Mine was that. Mine was the default height. Uh, one second. I'm gonna have to check. Oh, shit. About five spaces. Okay, wait. Can I switch to the controller? No, it's not what I meant to do, but I should be able to, yeah. You get, you get one extra box. Space. Yeah, I wanted the I wanted the nitro to not be able to be jumped over. Um, oh, whoops. Okay. Because I'll just make I'll make a series of them then. Platforms, they don't. So one, two, three, four, five. Um. I'm getting right to the end, top of the the world type. I like using the question mark boxes. I prefer that to... Um... <laughs> Something like that. And actually, I'm gonna put a checkpoint right at it, like, no, hmm. You know what, what I'll do, oopsies, is I'll make another layer of this with a checkpoint box on it. Uh, um, I'll also have some stuff over here. Those won't blow each other up, will they? No. Will there be enough time? You know what, I'll... Put it like that. Okay. It's not, it's not gonna be particularly long or hard, I'm just gonna do that. Uh, but I'm gonna make a secret gym. Uh, so it's just the happy version of my level. <laughs> this is a much happier version. Yeah. 
the enemy list. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, the crumbling boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll consider it. I'm mostly... I, when I think about levels for some reason, I mostly... Th even though I've got an enemy here, I mostly think in terms of... Um, uh, like, boxes and, and box placement. Um, now, I want to make a... A thing. Let's go with, like... Um... And have some... Oh, how cruel do I want to be? Um... I'll go like this. Uh, okay. This one I was gonna go down quite a bit. I kind of want to do something like, and then, uh, I'm just making this shit up as I go, by the way. Uh, <laughs> completely making this up as I go. No real, no, re like, legit thought going into this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, I'll put that about there. Um... Some more nitro. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to put the um, the nitro breaker thing. Put it there. Um. <clears throat> okay. I've got plenty of nitro next to. Oh, whoops! I meant to have that one there, so that it blows up that if you touch it, if you hit the nitro. Um, I've got plenty of nitro next to things that you need to use. So you, if you break the nitro early, you won't be able to finish the level. Oh, they don't have the middle checkpoint crates. No, they don't. Oh, interesting. Yeah, there's a few. There's a few missing boxes and things here and there. They, they at least have the metal bounce box. That's good. Um, I will add some more. Actually, I'll add a. I'll add an enemy. Um, <laughs> he's just gonna wander back and forth that tiny space. Um, What do I want to do? I, I want to. I want to make a, a blue gem that's down this path. It's you know tricky to get because you're gonna not hit boxes. Um, <laughs> I always, I always just use this box type. Oh. Um. See how that does. I want it to be tricky. <laughs> I want it to be tricky. boxes down here. Except that actually... Oh, am I feeling... If I, am I feeling evil? Am I feeling cruel? <laughs> um, oh, I'll put the, put the crystal up here. I forgot how high up I made it. Um, there we go. 
and then the gem is down there, the box gem is down there. But I'm making, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm making another, um, How do I, how do I do this? How do I do this? Uh, I think I'd rather use these ones. These ones are better, in my opinion. Oh, my eye. Itchy. Oh. Um. So wait, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, okay, wait, I'll, I'll get the bounce pads working first. Ah, uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can't place one there. I <laughs> have to place it there. You know, I'll just do that. Um, and then, this is as low as I can go in the map. Jim. <laughs> Dreaming inside a dream, yes. I have I have experienced that a few times in my life. There was I've had nightmares where I've I've woken up from the nightmare and I'm still dreaming. Okay. This is n probably not as hard as it looks. Uh it's like the stair block without the stair thingy. Oh whoops, actually I meant to make these I meant to make these um those brittle blocks. Uh, also meant, like, the solid stone blocks I used everywhere in the castle. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean these ones, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, hey, Damien! <laughs> I'm late, but I'm here. You are here! <laughs> yeah, we're, uh... Two hours forty-three in, and um, after we do this, I'll probably we'll we'll watch that trailer and then we'll probably call it uh, for the, for the day. Um, now, is there anything else I wanted to do? I just want to check other bounce pads. You can spin these as you go down. Yeah, okay, okay. I think that'll do it, that'll do it, okay. I want to test this now. Um, I've got all the gems and stuff placed, yep. Okay, controller. Well, I, I say it, I, I'm referring to it as a trailer, a clip, a video. Um, trying to beat the game. Right, yeah. Or earlier, but my girl is to play one more match of Valorant. That's <laughs> fair. It's all good. It's all good. Um, yeah. I mean, whatever one's better, you think, for just reacting to. Oh, oh dear. I, I didn't make these high enough. Yeah, it's nowhere near high enough to be able to. Oh shit! And I thought, I thought, okay, you're gonna have to crouch and crawl through it. What happened to the enemy? The enemy disappeared. Okay, some of the gaps, I didn't make them big enough. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, um... Okay, um... I don't know what happened to him. He just disappeared. Uh... Oh, oops. There we go. Um... And a two block gap is really small. Maybe I'll leave it like that though. I'll leave it really small. And weird. Confusing. Um, we kind of slaughtered the enemy team. <laughs> Literally we had a positive KDA. That's how bad it was. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh. Streams just not going well on the on your phone. Yeah. 
Um, I'll have to do. Oh, I made those actually a block higher, each one. Than these ones. Let's try it now. Ah! <laughs> shit, okay, wait. Restart, restart. I'm gonna try and get the box gem. The no box gem. Ah! <laughs> That's bullshit! You should, that should not count as. Ah, oh, god damn it. Um, okay, let's see if I can jump over them. Ah, shit! <laughs> okay, oh my god. <laughs> this is my level and I'm just, oh my god. I'm using the fucking... Using the friggin', um... I was using the stick. Okay. Oh, you can! You can jump over it! Okay, I'm, I'm keeping it like that then. Ah, shit! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> uh... That's kind of old, to be fair. I haven't been clumsy with it, so I don't know. Yeah. I will say, my phone has been... Uh... It's been going so... Oh. My phone's been so slow recently. Like, it's it's the worst. Oh, shit. You're gonna not hit the top ones when you move. Ah! <laughs> so hard! <laughs> I, I made this so hard for myself. To be fair, it's because I thought it was not gonna be. I thought that something would work and it didn't. If it, if I can't get it to work at all, I'll have to. Oh, it just barely works. Ah, uh, <laughs> okay. And now, now that I've got that, I have to. Oh. Like that, yep. <laughs> now, we work our way back. Ah, shit! <laughs> oh, it does. I hear what you mean by the, the music fucks up. Um, <laughs> uh, I did make a new account recently on Riot, because I keep... Getting AFK penalty for when the game that disconnects me from it. Ah, oh, that's that sucks. Um, right? Yeah, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Yeah. Introducing Twinkster. <laughs> that's alright. That enemy keeps falling off. Oh, that's what's happening. He's the enemy's falling off the platform. Ah, shit. Okay. Okay, wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop it from doing this. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's see if I can do it. Let's see if I can... No, oh, <laughs> I failed immediately! Is this too... Ah, oh, sh- Is this too rough? Have I made this too tough? Ah, shit. That's a real tough jump, that one. It's probably the hardest jump in the whole sequence. It's getting over that. Why do I smell... I smell McDonald's. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why do I smell like Donald's? Okay. That works. Okay, okay. We're good. That's honestly the toughest part of it's gone. The toughest part of it's been done. Ah, oh, that's that's so rude of me to do. <laughs> can't get it. Okay. Now, how the hell do I do? <laughs> how the hell do I get down there? Okay. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, I got the checkpoint. Ah, oh, shit, the music fucked up now. Up here first. Yeah, I'm gonna fix that enemy. Oh, the music fucking up is weird. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he fell so fast. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um. Wait, what do you mean pause and play the music? Oh. Oh no, but that means I have to I have to give up my progress. <laughs> I've made progress in the level. I don't wanna start again. <laughs> I don't wanna see if I can do this. Oh fuck. Yeah, I'm stuck with the curse music until until I uh prove that the level is doable. Ah Oh yeah, I made this impossible, didn't I? Yeah. That's- okay, that's not possible. Okay. Okay, I have to fix that. Let's go over here. Ugh. Oh, wait, I'll fix- I mean, I'll, I'll fix this first. I'll fix this first. Um... I accidentally made this impossible. <laughs> uh, you know what? Make these like this instead. That makes it possible. Um, and then the enemy, the enemy over here. I will just put. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Shit, okay, um... I'll make it a different enemy. One second. All these enemies wander. I think the turtle does not fall. Oh, okay. We'll try him. Okay. Let's have a look, let's have a look. Um... <laughs> the more happy side, yeah, yeah. Paris moment, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like the PS1 graphics. Yeah, they've they've remade the PS1 crash looking graphics so well. They've done such a good job on this. It's amazing. Yeah, it's, it is truly iconic. Oh yeah, he doesn't fall. Good, that's that's what I wanted. Okay, perfect. Um, well, we've already proven that that side of the level is doable. So now it's just this side. Oh fuck. <laughs> Um, yeah, no. <laughs> you need that box. <laughs> Just that moment of- oh, fuck. 
It's just... Oh, <laughs> that's a real tight. That enemy is a real tight uh, timing. Oh, I should add. I should add some one fruit around the level. That's something I haven't added. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Just die. <laughs> oh, actually, I should check. If you're just like going over this way and you go to here, then you go like, oh. Yeah, that's he's fine if he if you do that. He'll eventually get back up again. I think he'll get back up again? He's supposed to. Alright, maybe not. Maybe they don't get back up again. Well, before it's hard to do, but possible, yeah. Um, oh wait. So recently, one of the more impressive things I've experienced is a dream with its own set of events. With the, In the late part of it, I've arrived at a hotel and fell asleep. Right! Like a second dream inside of it eventually after it and I woke up back in the first dream in the hotel with nothing changing. Whoa. It was the one time I had a strange dream. I was dreaming about trickster from DVD Limpo. Yeah. <laughs> ah fuck. <laughs> wow, well, I could have saved it. And I fucked it up. <laughs> I have made this, like, so uh, temperamental. I've made this level so, like, specifically structured. I'm proud of myself. I've made a really specifically structured level where you have to time things, like, really carefully. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, whoops. These boxes don't work the same way. <laughs> God damn it! I'd forgotten how many times I'd hit bounced on it. So once again the cur the music's cursed again. Shit! <laughs> well, I think it's possible, it's just hard. I just made it really hard. <laughs> God damn, I hate that it does that. Oh my god, stop, stop doing that. Ah. <laughs> I must prove that it's doable. Oh fuck. <laughs> I must prove that it's doable. Yeah, why is it only when you have a mask that it, it breaks the, the level?
<laughs> you in Pyroland Vision IRL. <laughs> you just see like rainbows and candy and stuff everywhere. <laughs> That works. Ah! <laughs> oh, <laughs> he did the step off thing that I was talking about. Shit. <laughs> well, it, I mean, it's okay. It's, it's all possible. It's all possible. So this is um um. So wait, the, the easy side. <laughs> we can be calling it. Oh, the more happy. So no, no, not easy side. Happy side. Happy side. <laughs> oh yeah, you kind of spaces. Created by Rorius. Um. <laughs> Let's have a listen. Nah. Nah, I can't have any of those. Um. No, it doesn't it doesn't suit either. What's spy? Oh, that, I mean I like this I like the song, but uh what's Ripper's hell? Everything would be cotton candy, sweet and marshmallow soft. Only problem with Pyrovision is that you everything would look sweet and soft and, and edible, but then you'd try and eat it and it wouldn't be the thing that you think it is. <laughs> Unless it extends to your mouth as well, and so everything tastes like candy as well. Uh, oh, the great wall, here we go. Oh, wrong wall. Um, or just somewhere. <laughs> just to evoke that hatred. Um, sure, why not? Let's just do that. Save. Okay. Um, so now it's technically, this is all technically now possible. Uh, I've tested both sides of it, so we exit. Uh, wait, actually, I'll just save it again just to be absolutely sure. Okay. okay. If we go back to the, the menu. Sidious Breeze slash Challenge. Then like names with slashes, right, right. Um, when is it available? Like when is the this? So, so the I don't know when the um when this is gonna be finished, but uh, at the moment it's it, you can download it from itch.io for free. Uh, it has a fair, it has five levels built into it already. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five levels built into it already. And of course, you can have the creator levels as well. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, what was I? I missed some things. I guess lo the losing mask sound of Rise the Music. Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Now, if I go into here, can I see my own ones? Yeah, happy side. There it is. Happy side. Now if I go here, it's actually like th the actual level. And it's oh I have the mouse still on the screen. Oh my god, the road to nowhere music. Ah fuck. <laughs> Try again. Oh, this is gonna be a hell of a Oh, uh oh okay. Have a good night, Damien. Have good sleeps. 
Oh, that works. That actually is what much nicer way to do it. Okay. Have a good day. Thank you. I shall. I shall have my best day. <laughs> I put the numbers in front, so it forced mine to be at the start of the list. I thought that's why you did that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me uh, about our hangout stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you remember? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yep. Uh, I'll see you later. Have a good. Yeah. Have a good sleeps. Oh, that enemy actually does pose a problem. <laughs> he does make it difficult. Oh, that's, that's that one's such a tease. That's such a tease. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Yeah, the the, the, the like stepping down off of the platform thing really fucks up the the crouch jumps sometimes. The skid jumps. Uh. Oh my god, I know I can get up there because I was doing it before. Okay, there we are. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I think it's okay. Oh, yeah, no, I, fu I fully fucked it up. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the right-hand side is, is truly... Oh fuck, I have to check to see if... Actually, something I did have not checked yet... Oh fuck, I keep doing that. <laughs> it might be okay, it's, it's, it's salvageable. I think it's salvageable. At this stage. Oh, I'm using the fucking... I just gotta stop using the... The, um... Directional... I just gotta stop using the joystick. Okay. Thinking of the green exclamation mark for the right side makes it more easy. No, no, because it, it actually, um, it breaks that arrow crate. Um... The... Oh, whoops. If you break... If you... This, this arrow crate right here that I'm bouncing on right now, this one breaks by the, from the nitro next to it. Um, it's within the explosion radius, so uh, this the, you lose access to the entire upper section of the, the side if you break the nitro early. Oh, fuck. I very specifically did that, <laughs> so that it, you shouldn't be able to do it. Oh, I didn't go, I didn't go through and add Wumper Fruit. To be fair, you get a plenty of Wumper Fruit from the boxes, but... Two, three, four. Four, five. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. Don't need it uh, at this point. Okay. Oh god, that was... Yep, that was dumb. There we go. Okay, I have everything except... This is the thing I suddenly realized I have not checked if I can actually even get it. At this stage. Oh, I can't get the box gem because I... Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. The box gem is impossible at the moment. Need to, you need to do that. But then the box gem is past where it bounce boxes. Yeah, I can't get back up. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I need to fix its position. I, well, what I need to do is um, uh, go back to the warp room. It's so close. It's so close to being uh, done. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, how do I load? This. Um, user created. 
Happy side. Okay. Um. So I need to, I need to change this to a metal one. That's literally all I need to do to make this playable, to make this finishable. Okay. Obviously, bird will blow up nitros if it uh, crash into them. Yeah. Get the bird on multiple to the end. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Um. I think that's it. But I just suddenly remembered as well that I was like, the other thing I was gonna add is I was gonna add a bunch of wumper food. Um. I might try and do something like this, to be like, this is where you want to fall. Um, do I hint towards, I know I don't want to, I don't want to hint towards that existing down there. Anything else I want to hint towards? Both can only go left and not right. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, Mecca. Welcome to the stream. We're, we're um, doing some crash stuff. Yeah, I should do something like that, where I like... Do it like that. So a little hook shape like that. And then, uh, I'll do something like that. Maybe yeah, I'll use, I'll use the Wumper Fruit as a way of, of saying, like, the way the edges are. Like that, something like that. Um. <laughs> okay. Anything else? <laughs> Do something like that. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's probably all I'd want to do in terms of this. I like how I use the, the editor music for the first level. Right, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because it did uh, fit the jungle-ish type, not gonna lie. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, it does, it does. Should I be nice? One thing, I might just change this. I'll be nice. Actually, what I should do is, is... Like that. Yeah. <laughs> He's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> okay, cool. Save that. Alright. <laughs> no, be mean. <laughs> okay, like once again. Uh, it's a tough level to do. It's a pretty tough level overall. Because you have to go left twice. Ah, fuck. 
No. You have to go left twice, and the first time you go left, you have to not hit any boxes. Oh fuck. I'm using the joystick again like an idiot. Okay. Um. How did I die? <laughs> oh fuck. Kill me. Okay. It's already pretty mean if you're trying to get everything. Ah. <laughs> no, don't do that. You're supposed to kill me. Okay. Oh, I... Okay, again, I need to... No, no, no. <laughs> I need to... Hold X when I get on that last one. Oh, no, it doesn't work. It's, I need to... Okay, no, I definitely need to land and then bounce off of it. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Back to normal function. Oh no. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> I thought I fucked up for a second there. Okay. Okay, come back. I'm, I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> it just gets me worse. I actually like how this turned out a lot. from the insane version of the of the old music is and sound effects for a lot of stuff. Right, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The fact that the insane the insane creator I'm, I'm assuming you mean the level creator thing for insane trilogy. Um uh it it doesn't have the original uh music and sound effects, yeah. <sighs> okay. Don't have time to get the the life. Oh, okay. Right. Yes, I forgot. I forgot again that I need to do. No, <laughs> you fucked up. Okay, blow that up. And then, yeah, nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I did my own, I finished my own level and my level has a really satisfying 60 boxes. I did not even try and plan that. Um. I prefer a PS1 crash on music compared to the insane one. Right, yep. Nice. <laughs> okay. Well, I think we should uh yeah, let's let's return to let's quit. And let's um check out that that uh video that you sent me. Okay. Uh yeah. So this is this is the um this is the 
Let's see if it says it down here. Yeah, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Low poly crash. Nice. So this is the... The warp room. Crash NST. Oh, nitro fueled mods. It's actually mods for nitro fueled. Um. Oh, this is the this is just a mod for the that looking like that. Um. I'm assuming this is. This is their project. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll look at your Discord banner in a minute. Hey, it's a little big planet. It's a little big planet thing. Um, I'm just going crazy trying to claim uh, claim copyright on every tweet I've ever posted. Uh, oh, it, Activision's not happy about them making this mod, is it? Is it the case? <laughs> oh, okay. Um. So wait, what's it? What's it called? Yeah, wait, wait. I'll have a look. What's the mod called? Crash creator level in my own crash creator. Um, uh, little bit planet, yeah. Crash, uh, insane trilogy level editor. I mean, I'll have a look at this. It's real quick. See, so yeah, he doesn't have it. Doesn't have a specific place for it. He just has the warp room mod pages. Um. Uh... Natural shield and trilogy. Yeah. So they don't, they don't have their own page for it. Yeah, not until it's done. He doesn't have his own page for it yet, but um, this is like. The stuff that the... That it's yes, the... I'm talking about my Insane Trilogy level editor. Today. The level editor, yeah. It's been a while, I know. A long time ago, when I first started working on the earliest prototypes of this project, I was giving semi-frequent updates about it, and I was making a big deal about every little breakthrough that I made with this stuff. I never really did that with this iteration, though, which was mostly because I thought, like, what's the point in showing something that's so unfinished that by the time anyone else is able to use it, it'll be completely different. Case in point, this is what this project started out as. So, you know, I always felt like the sort of development updates wouldn't really benefit anyone because the longer I spend on this, okay. the less relevant the previous versions. Yeah, happen. yeah, I get it. Okay. Collision is the first. Oh damn! Thing I yeah, this is a straight up Crash Bandicoot. Um, the way Crash Bandicoot one map. I've been doing Collision. The Crash Bandicoot three map. The last few years has been pretty annoying to to work with. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So, take for example this uh, obstacle plank number five. I guess there's there's some more talked about the level. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> it still gets. As I mentioned, like two years ago, I think this still gets very laggy when you click on certain objects, and uh, I still haven't fixed that yet. But I will do. I will do at some point. Um, but like the way these uh like static scenery objects work in these levels means that if you move them anywhere, uh, the collision that they appear to have when you play the level doesn't follow the model. Ah, um, uh. so what would happen normally if I just left it like this and I ran up to this plank in the walk level, right through I would it phase straight through yeah. it yeah and then when I got to this location You'd where bump it used into to nothing be, I would bump into an invis an invisible wall yeah the collision would still be telling the game that 
there is a plank here, even though visually it's over here. And so what I was doing up until literally a few days ago to give collision to objects that do not have it currently is um, I've, I've shown this before. I would load in a specific type of file, uh, usually from Toxic Waste, because that just happens to be uh, the best place to get what I'm looking for. The border file from Toxic Waste. And then I would copy the coordinates of the object that I wanted to add collision to, grab one of these things, paste it here, and then uh, adjust the size of this, oops, this box until it roughly matched the objects that I'm trying to add collision to. Um, very roughly in this case, but if I just leave it like that and uh, do that for every move, single move, individual thing you moved and export this level, uh, look at all this shit. We'll come to we'll come to what these are in a little bit. Uh, what should I call it? Uh, yes, we're saving the level. Yes, to launch the game. Just about my mouse. Uh, normal, and it doesn't appear. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> I changed the, the splash screen a while ago because um, <laughs> the one I had normally on my game was uh, a bit of a spoiler for, for something that I, I want to make in the future. This is not controlling very well. This, this uh, uh, plank. Yeah. This, con this is not controlling very well. I've got so much stuff open on my computer at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's definitely moved. very laggy to try and control. So that's fun. Um, as you can see, the plank is uh, not in the place it normally is. Normally, that crate is resting right on top of it. So you can tell that I've moved it. And yeah. if I can maneuver my way over here, oh my god, you can see that the invisible wall I added in is allowing me to stand on top of this. But if I go to the location yeah, where still can't go that plank normally is, over the original I spot. Can't on top of it, there is. So I'm assuming he's he's done something to change that. But this is a. He now um... into them, but some models do. This all works is that none of the the model files that you see in game and that you can see here. Yeah, pretty much. Have any yeah, okay. kind of collision data um, baked into them? But level templates, everything is easier now. Kind of... I don't trust you. But yeah, there is actually a uh, camera in this game that you can control yourself yeah. in all directions. <laughs> That's cool. Also, you know, oh, you could totally, with this new layout, with being able to move the, mount, the camera around like that, you could totally make a Twin Sanity like remake in this. Oh, it's another video? Okay. Um... Okay, wait one second. I'll just close this for now. I'll have a look at this one in a bit, but we'll look at this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Remaking the remake. But Dr. Cortex, we haven't determined the cause of past failures. <laughs> Moron! This bandicoot will be my general. He will lead my Cortex commandos to world domination. This time. I shall reign triumphant! We are closer than ever before! Quickly! Into the Vortex! Dr. Cortex! The Vortex is not ready! We have no idea what it could do! Right, yeah. Hard mode? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh! Start inside the lab and the guys chase you. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I 
That's a neat idea. <laughs> he just falls off. <laughs> the lab assistants just falling to their death. <laughs> ah, there's the there's the um fucking. Uh, what the fuck's it called? The laser thing. The thing that they use to brainwash animals. Yeah, I'm quite excited to make stuff like this. Oh! <laughs> I don't know if I would include that, personally. Because Embryo turning into that is kind of just like... A big deal at the end of the game. While I like the idea, well, I think it's neat looking. Um, I don't think I would do that. Nice. <laughs> The falling sound at the end. The stuff that's little in this video. Yeah. A lot of cool stuff, sorry. Yeah. Oh yeah, and he's, he's uh... <laughs> Switch some things around. Oh, this is neat. This is a this is fascinating. This is wild. Oh, wild. It's so Insanity original crash just merits. Yeah, yeah. That's just, that is what this feels like. That's, I was it's gonna mention that. that. If I go back a little bit, um, seeing this, this section right here feels like the Twin Sanity Beach. This section of like the platforms here, what like where in in Twin Sanity you had to fire the cannon. At the at the sections to lower them so you could jump across them. That's exactly what that feels like. <laughs> it's wild. Yeah, yeah. It's ah, oh, that's kind of mind like kind of melting my brain a little bit. The fact that the level started so familiar and then has shifted to being this now, like, it's so unfamiliar now. <laughs> it's a zero death platform. In the first level. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay. That is interesting. Interesting idea.
<laughs> this music. What's this music from? It's Crash Team Racing. <laughs> yeah, I think it's Crash Team Racing. <laughs> He's changing to the music. <laughs> Yeah. He's um Ah <laughs> yeah, I see, I see. This is so cool. Sorry, I'm just like watching the whole video now. <laughs> this just turned into a reaction stream. I only meant to watch like a, a portion of this, but I'm so fascinated. I can't, I can't stop myself from watching. <laughs> reaction stream. Yeah. Cause like, what they've done with what we've just played, the crash back in time. That is something that's like, they've completely remade it. Um, you know, they've completely remade crash, the old crash from scratch, basically. Which is something that, you know, people can do. You know, it's, it's, it's like, it is something that is hard, but it is doable. Um, but this is like, this is breaking into the game that already exists and making it function in a way that was never intended but like in which, which opens up such endless possibilities <laughs> i like that <laughs> make you panic I was gonna say, what is he doing? <laughs> I like, the, like that there are boxes like outside of this level space. <laughs> oh, neat. That's super neat. Yeah, this is like, this is like enlightening. <laughs> My brain is, is, uh, is like more open now. <laughs> Transcendent experience. Yeah, now we're like returned to the original level. Oh my god, you're kidding. You didn't get the last one, yeah. Oh, gym requirement. A platform. <laughs> well, it's like for me, this is what the way the the way I'm reacting to this, or the way that my brain is like handling this is that it's like you're taking you're taking whatever already existed you're taking crash one and you're just like stretching it and and shifting it so much that it's almost unrecognizable like it's it's but it's it's all still the same game it's all still crash one
because it uses the, and, and what I was going to mention before is like, yeah, the no <laughs> missed one box. Um, <laughs> see the start of the great gate. Oh, okay, he's going to the great gate now. Oh fuck. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's. Because of the fact that it uses it's utilizing the engine that is the in the insane trilogy's engine, like it's graphically significantly superior, of course. But it's 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 um there's uh yeah there's there's like a graphical quality to it that is just not in the like back in time, for instance. Oh my god, this is this movement here. This is really cool, actually. You can see the whole, like, instead of it just being a wall on the outside, instead of just being on the outside of the wall, like, like, we're going through the inside of the, of the, um, the natives, like, in, uh, home. Again, this reminds me of, uh, the, of, of Twin Sanity. Because you go inside the the native's home in Twin Sanity as well. Oof. Yeah, it's just it's just like we're seeing we're seeing Crash, uh, the Crash we think we know, but like through the eyes of oh, damn. Oh, nice. We're seeing it through the uh, through new lens, and that's what's so like mind blowing about it. No, it's very very cool. I don't know that I would that that camera angle was the best for that particular section there, but this whole the whole like setup of this is super cool. I will say, I hope that, um, I'm, I'm assuming that we have access, in the, in the editor, you have access to all the, the, um, the models and stuff like that, and the, the models and texture work that were done in the, for the original game, for the Insane Trilogy. Um, but I still also think a lot of work has gone into this to make it look good. Because the areas that are not official, I mean, you can tell the areas that are not sort of a super official, it's fairly bland, like fairly basic, not bland, fairly like simplistic um, background sort of environment stuff. But uh, yeah, super cool, super cool. And I'm, I'd be super curious to get my hands on this. Honestly. Being able to doing something like this and allow it like the original developers giving out like a editing tools for this would have been amazing. The fact that a fan had to had to like hack the tools into the game, kind of sad almost to me. So the, they could have made an official editor <laughs> with the Insane Trilogy. I know it's like time and money and development, but. Putting it, putting an editor like a level editor like this into the Insane Trilogy, would have just created such a fan community of of like modders and developers, map developers. Um, it could have been real cool. This is fascinating as well. Not bothering with the bonus level. Oh, well, we've already seen that there's a gem path that he has to be able to do, so I suppose. Makes sense. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Holy crap. I 
<laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Aku Aku is getting stuck inside the boulder. <laughs> yeah, oof. <laughs> um That was cool, I will say. Oh my god, as well as this this level, yeah. Um there's like the crash four ish. Feels like Crash Forge in a way. Right, I see what you mean. I think I know what you mean. Yeah. Ah, uh, one second. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have a look at the the way I first started. See, so yeah, there's this new kind of Oh my god. They've incorporated some Crash One Sanity elements <laughs> in this one by the looks of it. Um I wanna see what that bomb box does. Oh Could it be that it blows up big TNT? Ah, detonation box. This is a twin sanity inspired crate. Ah. No, I actually, what I meant is that it's twin, twin sanity inspired is, is this bit. These like towers. Um, true, the detonate box. I forgot that it was in twin sanity. But no, I was going to say these, these towers being in the water. Very Twin Sanity. There's that whole section where there's the guy, like, watching, going like this, and there's the towers where they're, they're watching out of, and you can, like, maneuver around the towers uh, to get past them through the water. Yeah, yeah, I was, like, immediately, like, this, this right here reminds me of that. But yes, the detonation box. Yeah, see, there's even a guy in there. <laughs> the detonation box is straight up from Twin Sanity. That's brilliant. I like how the, I like the design of it though as well. I actually think I like the design of those detonation boxes better than the Twin Sanity version. Well, the Twin Sanity version has like a humor to it. I like with its like. <laughs> I like the I like Twin Sanity's animation, but I think I like the box design of this better. Just because it like lines up. It it feels like in line with uh, the the styles of of Crash better. A, a death path. <laughs> Or no death path, I should say. <laughs> Fascinating. Oh god, that was risky. Oh, he went, he went out into the screen to avoid it. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like, that is actually something that that's, I think is really neat. The, like, no death path or the gem path or whatever, d modifying the main level in some way. You know, you'd go through that path and it changes something about the main part of the level, rather than just giving you a gem or giving you something special. Uh, the idea that it like makes the later part of the level easier, or it it does something to enable uh, something to be accessed in the main part of the level differently, you know. Like that that in the in the in the first level he showed, there was the the cad cannon was at the end of the secret path. The the no death path had the cannon at the end of it. Which gave him access to the the boxes at the end of the, the the pillars, which he had to backtrack to to get to. I like that a lot. I like that like that style. I like that usage a lot. I should we should wrap this up. We shouldn't watch the whole thing. But, um, very cool. Oh, and Binding Plants. 
in amongst the the riding section. I wonder how they how that interaction would work. Uh, it's the it's the uh, piggy. <laughs> More. It's another. Oh wait 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 wait. I'm always fascinated by the camera shifts as well. The more the camera shifts, the more I'm like fascinated. The more fascinating it is for me. Because again, you're like peeling away the, the veil and seeing un under the, <laughs> seeing the skeleton underneath. I think it's neat. Cortex running on the bees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh god. You're backwards. And yeah, they got the Crash 3, like, rotating boxes. Shift. Oh, I could, I could tell. I was like, oh, he's lined that up for Nitro. <laughs> yeah, gotta go get that quickly. He still missed a lot of boxes. <laughs> I'm assuming because of the gem path. But yeah, very cool. Oh my god. It's like a slippery climb, but water variant. Whoa, fascinating. This is an entirely new style. And those those weren't a thing in the original, were they? Those wooden rotating things. Oh, unused crash level. Oh, you're right, yes. I remember. Um, this is an unused crash one level, isn't it? But those it be a waterfall level in Chris one, but it was cut. Yes, yeah. A climbing the waterfall level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I remember hearing about that. Um, and yeah, those those wooden rotating circle things. Were those was in the original game? I don't remember them. Those like circular platform rotating wooden platforms. I don't recognize them. Yeah, yeah. They're they're made by the either by this guy or they were unused in the game. Uh, minus that cut level. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, these. These, like, circular, rotating wood platforms. They don't look familiar to me, so they must either be made by this guy, or uh, they were in the files but they never used in the original game. <laughs> I'm still chuckling a little bit over the fact that they, he's going to call this ARD mode. <laughs> ARD mode. But this, see, this, this is so cool. This is... This is giving me similar vibes. I actually thought about replaying it as well. I wanted to, I wanted to revisit it. This is giving me similar uh, vibes. Suddenly, I'm thinking about it. Uh, to... What was it called? Oh, it's called Relive or Relive. I think it's Relive, um, which I, this is just the, the editor thing, isn't it? I need to, where did I put the actual game? The hell is it called? Shit. Is it Polar Gates? Chet. Um, oh, no, the, the, the something continues. The Odyssey continues. That's it. There. Um, there's a fan game for Abe's Odyssey that was made by Polar Gates. And um, he made like this entire... It's it's Abe's Odyssey, but it's it's ripping all the pieces out. And restructuring it completely 
with um like brand new layout and like uh everything's in different places let rooms connect differently it's it's Abe's Odyssey, but like completely shuffled and remade. That's a bit like what this is like, where it's using the it's using the the structure or the form of the original Insane trilogy, but it's like completely reimagining it. That's so cool. Oh. They have to go back. Yeah, this is a skull that's at the top of the waterfall and crash one. <laughs> hey, it's Papu Papu. <laughs> I'm assuming Papa Papa hasn't been made yet, yeah. That is, uh, that is so cool. Oh, that's badass. Um, Nitro, I get, I get why they call it Nitro Field now. Because you ever creates Nitro. Um, I was going to say, you can finish the first level of this, uh, of Crash 2, <laughs> as if, uh, if ever creates Nitro, because you don't need to... You can is the no no box gem, but um, I don't know about any other level. That's the first five done already, and it's time to face the first boss fight. This apparently, I wonder if I would have been able to slide under them then. No, the the chances of that working must be no go. I definitely found the snow levels to be the most interesting ones to navigate through. Things start to look a bit tricky once you reach the side scrolling section. These crates can easily be jumped over, but well. These two are the ones that ended my attempt at this in the PS1 version. But in the remake, turns out, you can actually just walk in front of these. <laughs> like those, they just jumped right at the moment when I walked past them, didn't they? I wonder if I would have been able to slide under them there. Uh, yeah. No, the, the chances of that working must be tiny. It would be crazy to even consider that as a, a viable strategy to, to ever use in this game, wouldn't it? Oh, that would be silly. There's supposed to be an iron arrow crate here, but you can manage without it. And instead of getting in front of these boxes, you can sneak behind them instead. That is a very <laughs> the satisfying of, crystal. The amount of being able to just slide in in front of an iron arrow crate. And this jumps a bit higher than the last one. It took me a few attempts, but you can just about make it. And yeah, it seems like it. when you the spin and, and you do that, levels, you get a little bit of extra height. It's about being a bit more precise. I, I've never really used spin jumps. And you'd normally have to be. Although this first one, hang out. It doesn't require too much of that. Avoiding the mines in this level is still harder than getting around the nitros, and there's no difficult high jumps or anything like that, so this shouldn't be a problem. The pits is another very simple level. The hardest part of this one for me is always remembering which way to go at the fork to get to the crystal. So the nitros don't make a whole lot of difference here, and you can ignore them pretty easily. And after this, I've missed the crystal many times on this level. Room. Crash Dash is a boulder chase, and the thing you want to be careful with here is the way the game likes to be a bit over dramatic at the end of each boulder section. If you're standing too close to a boulder when it finishes its run, you'll be thrown away from it, even if you're completely stationary. And that can sometimes push you into some <laughs> nitros. But if you can get to the crystal, then that's the first five done already. And it's time to face the first boss fight. This loading screen has some really useful advice for us, actually. But uh, the nitros <laughs> that Ripper Roo uses are just flat tiles. And although you can swap them with proper nitro boxes, it kind of breaks how the fight works. So I just left them alone. The bosses don't really factor into this whole nitro challenge, so let's move on. The first thing I'll always do after getting to the second warp room is switch to Coco. For a while, I thought there might be one point in the game where it's actually essential to play as Coco because of an oft-forgotten special ability she has in this game, but I never found a good place to use it in the end. <laughs> right at the start of Snowbiz, you get another one of those high ledges that you're supposed to use an arrow crate for. The nice thing about this one is you can spin an enemy into the nitro, so there's no danger of falling into it while you try to make that jump. 
I'm not sure what the best way to get up these is, but I found that jumping diagonally towards the centre of the ledge gives me the best chance of landing it. Once again, there's some crates you can just walk in front of in the 2D section. And <laughs> there's a weird thing that happens here sometimes oh, yeah. when you kick this seal into some nitros that are apparently inside the ceiling in this cave. Turns out there's actually a huge grid of crates directly above this ah, area. Ah, right. The secret path at yes. this level. And all of those nitros being packed together means they immediately fall into that chasm as soon as they spawn. You can't <laughs> get in front of or behind this pair of nitros, but if you carefully jump over them, you can just about stand on the other side. And after that, it's not too complicated to get the crystal and finish the level. And um, crash puts you. I'm amazed he's got this far into the game without getting without having any troubles with nitro. But anyway, we'll leave that there. We'll leave that there. Uh, we have been streaming for a full four hours. I actually thought we were going to only stream for three or, you know, a little less than normal today. Uh, but now we, we ended up streaming the full four hours on just uh, Crash Bandicoot stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have had a good time. I had a great time. I think that both of these projects are super cool. Oh, you still here, Fireboy? Cool, cool. Nice. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to be playing some more uh, Minecraft later today if people want to catch me in Minecraft. Although um, I am working on a somewhat a semi-secret project. I say it's a secret project, but it's just for the for like the narrative of my character in the world that is the Cherry Grove biome world thing. I have a. He finishes that is a. I'll be damn sure to make that mod. Yes. Yeah. I mean, either straight up remake, remake, um, Twin Sanity <laughs> in, in the thing. Cause that, like that, that straight up has the capacity to be done in that editor. Um, right. Fair enough, I suppose. Um, but, uh, no, I was going to say, um, both of those editors, both the Back in Time and the Crash tw uh, Insane Trilogy editor, both super cool for their own reasons, and um, yeah, like something I wanted to something I wanted to do. I mentioned earlier I wanted to make a short relating to the stream. I want to do a little short. I think that's like talking about some cool shit that's happening in the Crash universe, uh, Crash sphere of um of of games. Because uh, I don't know if there's anything... I'll, I'm going to research and see if there's anything like that they've said about actual Crash projects. But uh, like like maybe Activision's working on one now. I don't I don't know if they are. Um, there is a new Crash game, by the way. I was just literally saying I don't know if there is one. Oh, I did... No, I did see that. I did see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was at the um, Summer Fest. Summer Games Fest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically Crash Bash remade. That's the way I saw it. It's like it's a remake of Crash Bash, um, where it's like a competitive thing, uh, multiplayer competitive thing. Because they've remade Crash Team Racing, so now they're gonna remake Crash Bash. Um, I'll take some take some painkillers, Fireboy. Migraines are not fun to just push through. You gotta you should definitely take something for it. Um, yes, I will, now that I remember that, that, now that, that I remember that's the case, that's something, I'm going to talk about those things in a, in a short, I'm going to talk about the cool new things that are coming up for Crash, you got Crash, <laughs> Crash Team Rumble, you've got, um, Crash Back in Time, the fan, uh, project, and also, uh, Insane Trilogy Editor, very cool, very cool, uh, but yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will be streaming again tomorrow if I, if I'm able, because I, you know, tomorrow's, it is Friday, right? Friday, yeah. Um, I should be streaming, uh, Minecraft tomorrow. I'm hoping to stream both tomorrow and the day after, and if I do, I'll be so proud of myself, because I've straight, that will mean I've streamed four days in a row. So, I'm really, fingers crossed, I'll be streaming tomorrow. Happy Cortex Friday, yeah. <laughs> It's going next Friday. It's going next Friday. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. No, migraines can be caused by eye strain, 
if you like spend way too much time on like focusing on screens that can cause uh migraine so uh, i would recommend relaxing your eyes for a bit oh the discord banner yeah 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 oh <laughs> what the heck wait i don't can can't you see a bigger version of that <laughs> what is this ghost kissing? <laughs> Sorry in advance. Oh, it's Casper. I was going to say, um, he looked like Casper, but I wasn't sure. I'm going to subscribe to this channel. Um, yeah, I, I but I it's been a long time. I don't remember anything about Casper. <sighs> At least not anymore. But yeah. So yeah, uh, look forward to the short. Look forward to the stream tomorrow. It's going to be Minecraft. If I, Yeah, unless I can't stream for some reason, in which case I'll stream the next day, Minecraft. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys all had fun and look forward to more Crash stuff in the future. Because I, I, I really want to play more Crash. <laughs> I have thought about going back and playing Crash stuff, like old Crash stuff again, but I've just been playing Crash 4 in my own time instead. Right, yeah, go go um take something for it, Fireboy. Tag team and Titans. Yes, yes, that's right. My brain was like there was something Crash I was planning to play. <laughs> Tag team and Titans if possible. Um Tag team because we have a deal, remember? Titans is just like when I can. Speed run to insanity? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Didn't we do like a speed ready kind of thing for a bit with to insanity? I seem to recall I was doing it on some stream and you were following me for a bit, but then some something crashed and yeah, <laughs> it crashed. <laughs> There's the, as quite often happens, yeah, yeah, you got soft locked. That's right. Um, that's quite frequently the case. That's why, that's kind of why I don't usually like doing the races. If someone's doing a speed run and then someone does a speed run at a different time, that's like fine. But those, those races that we sometimes try and do most of the time, because we're playing like emulated games or, or, you know, uh, yeah, there's, we're not usually playing the originals. And even then we're playing games that are a little bit buggy. <laughs> When it cr when it inevitably crashes, it um, it's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun when it crashes, and it's like, and you feel like you were doing so well. Because I've, I've if I recall correctly, with Twin Sanity, you were like racing ahead of me, in in that game, uh, and when we were because like with other crash games, I frequently have the lead for a while, um, but in, in Twin Sanity. You got ahead of me so quick, uh, and like powered beyond me. But then you got soft locked, and so I caught up, and and it was like, ah, uh, what's the point anymore? Um. Okay, if if yeah, if there's no if there's for some reason no way to get tag team to work, yes, uh, we could switch it to Titans. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, on an actual PS2, yeah. Um, again, I'll, I'll, I'll figure something out. I have heard there are, there's more than just one emulator. And I, I have heard that, um, I've been meaning to work on, uh, you can see it right here. I've been meaning to, uh, like look more into this Exodus emulator. Apparently it's actually quite a good PS2 emulator. Um, so I'm, I'd be curious to try it, but it requires more setup if I recall. It doesn't. It's not like quite as easy to use as PC, P PC two SX or whatever it's called, the, the PS two one. Um, yeah. But anyway, anyway, we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out in the future. And um, yeah, if you like what you saw and you haven't already hit that like button, consider hitting that like button. PC SX2, that's the one. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't remember the breakdown. See, 
I remember EPSXE, because that's nice and easy. It's just EXE with PS in the in front of the X. But the P the the PS2 one is <laughs> is confusing. PCSX2. But yeah. Uh and uh if you if you have not already subs- if you're somehow not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And uh <laughs> hit the like button for crash. Hit the share button for crash. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good lunch and remember. Go next Friday. <laughs> okay, bring me bring me the crystals. Uh yeah. I'll see you guys later. I'll be streaming I'm, all things going right. I'll be streaming tomorrow and we'll be we'll be playing Minecraft so you guys can join in. Bye. Training PC SX2 as a non Steam game. I have done that before. Um Well I've done something similar before. I don't know why what what it would do exactly, but I have tried it before. <laughs> Maybe not with a uh, PCSX2 though. Maybe with EPSXE instead. Uh, it should be Minecraft, unless it's nothing. It's either Minecraft or nothing. <laughs> um. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. But yeah. Bye. Have a good night or day, <laughs> depending on your time zone. Until next time. <laughs>